The prosecutor's hold, wait, and scare tactic. How can the DVD help me with this problem? Okay, so let's attack that. Everybody knows that um, once they first catch a case and they get incarcerated, and let's say that they're holding you without a bond until you go to court. Let's say at the arraignment, they set it pretty high or they don't give you a bond because you're on probation or whatever. Let's say that you have a family and a job and their actions are going to get you fired and it's going to put you and your family in a bad situation. Well, that's the majority of the people that's in the United States. Um, when you're dealing with a case like that, the prosecutor obviously is going to hold anybody as long as they can because when you're dealing with a large volume of people on a regular basis, it's easier to hoard all the people going through the system in a way that if they hold those people for a long time, they scare them enough because they're going to lose their job, maybe their house, maybe their car. If they're on probation, they might not want their probation officer to know they was incarcerated. There's all kinds of things. Now, the first thing, understanding the client rights, obviously, with the attorney, since the attorney is representing the accused, knowing ahead of time, this is basic information because you're going to be dealing with the plea bargain. It's obviously easier to bring the people through the system, give them a plea, let them cop to it because they're scared. They want to hurry up and get out. They can move along with the next case. Another thing is case records. Knowing what they have against you will also help them mentally when they know they're innocent even though they're incarcerated for a period of time, may hurt them short term, maybe beating the case will help them more long term, depending on the charge. With the law library, we give you the secrets of the judges and the prosecutors on how they do all their up-to-date legal research so they know what to do and how to do it. Once you have that information, along with the information on the case, and having plea bargain information, to me, it gives you more options because you're aware. And then lastly, there's little things like jurisdiction. You have under the police process getting a confession. Who tells a better story? Under the prosecutor's process, you have relevance. Rules of evidence. And this nice one right here, chain of custody. You have these also depending on what the case is about. Having this DVD, you have an arsenal at your fingertips, almost like a personal attorney that can help you understand your situation a whole lot better. Especially when attorneys charge such high fees for their service. Here, anyone can pull up this information regardless if they're incarcerated and their loved one is not. Someone has access to that information. So again, knowing options, knowing everything the prosecution knows, knowing everything as far as evidence, what's going on with the case in reality. The prosecutor can hold someone and consistently set up different court dates to scare them over a long period of time because they have a job and different responsibilities but the DVD brings a different element to that situation, especially if that person is incarcerated and they have someone on the outside to help them because now there's a fighting chance instead of being in a situation where you have to trust an attorney that you actually don't trust because you don't know them.